Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm God's Power, and today we're diving deep into a topic that's crucial for our spiritual journey, how to break the cycle of sin and unlock the blessings that God has in store for us. If you've ever felt stuck, repeating the same mistakes and wondering why you're not seeing the breakthrough you desire, then this message is for you. We all face struggles and patterns in our lives that seem to hold us back from fully experiencing God's blessings. But today, we're going to explore how to recognize these cycles and break free from them. So, grab your Bible, settle in, and let's begin our time together with prayer. We'll seek God's wisdom and guidance as we embark on this journey of transformation and renewal. Before we dive into today's discussion, if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. This way, you'll stay inspired by our faith-based content and never miss an uplifting message. Now, let's get started on our journey of faith and inspiration. Whether you're seeking encouragement, spiritual insights, or simply a community of believers, you've come to the right place. Our channel is dedicated to sharing messages of faith, hope, and empowerment to help you navigate life's challenges with strength and grace. So, grab your Bible, a notebook, and an open heart as we embark on this journey together. Let's dive into today's topic and be inspired to live a life grounded in faith and purpose. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning with open hearts and minds, eager to receive your wisdom and guidance. As we gather today, we ask that you reveal to us the areas in our lives where we may be blocking the blessings you so generously wish to pour out upon us. Lord, help us to recognize the cycles of sin that may be holding us captive. Show us where we might be trapped in patterns that prevent us from fully experiencing your love and grace. Grant us the strength and determination we need to break free from these cycles and to walk in the freedom you offer. We ask for your forgiveness, Father, for any ways we have fallen short. Fill us with the courage to turn away from sin and to walk in the light of your truth. Guide us as we seek to live lives that honor you and embrace the abundant blessings you have in store for us. In your name, we pray. Amen. Welcome, friends. Today, we're diving into an important topic that affects us all, sin. It's easy to think of sin as the big, dramatic actions, those moments where we clearly miss the mark. But sin is not just about these obvious transgressions. It also includes the small, subtle habits and patterns that can gradually erode our relationship with God. The enemy is very crafty. He loves to use these subtle patterns to keep us trapped in a cycle of sin, making us feel unworthy of God's love and blessings. These small compromises, like neglecting our prayer life, harboring grudges, or indulging in negative thoughts, might seem insignificant at first. However, over time, they can build up and create a barrier between us and God. But here's the good news, despite these struggles, God is always ready to forgive us and set us on a path to freedom. His love and grace are never out of reach. Today, we'll explore how to recognize these cycles of sin, break free from them, and fully embrace the abundant blessings that God has prepared for us. We'll start by understanding what the Bible says about sin and its consequences. Then, we'll look at practical steps to break free from these cycles and fully experience the freedom and blessings God has for us. Let's embark on this journey together, seeking to live a life that honors God and embraces the fullness of His grace. Together, we can overcome these challenges and step into the abundant life that God has promised. So, let's begin by identifying the traps that the enemy sets and understanding how to break free from these cycles of sin. Understanding the Cycle of Sin To truly break free from the cycle of sin, we must first understand what the Bible teaches about sin and its consequences. Romans 6 verse 23 gives us a clear picture, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Sin has serious consequences, it leads to spiritual death and separation from God. This separation can block the flow of blessings in our lives and keep us from experiencing the fullness of God's grace and love. Sin creates a barrier between us and God, preventing us from fully receiving the blessings He has in store for us. It's important to recognize that this cycle of sin and separation is not something God desires for us. Instead, He offers us a way out through His incredible grace. The first step in breaking this cycle is to acknowledge the areas where we have fallen short. 
This means taking an honest look at our lives and identifying the sins that have taken hold. In doing so, we invite God to work in those areas, bringing healing and restoration. Repentance plays a crucial role here. But what exactly is repentance? It's not merely feeling sorry for our sins, it's a profound change of heart and mind. True repentance involves a conscious decision to turn away from sinful behaviors and thoughts and to align our lives with God's will. It's about making a deliberate choice to change our direction and to pursue a life that honors God. When we sincerely repent, we open the door for God to work in us and through us. We allow Him to restore what has been broken by sin. This restoration is not just about forgiveness, it's about being renewed and empowered to live a life that reflects His love and grace. As we turn away from sin and toward God, we create space for His blessings to flow freely into our lives. Remember, repentance is not a one-time act but a continual journey of growth and transformation. Each day, we are called to seek God's guidance, make choices that align with His will, and rely on His grace to sustain us. By doing so, we break the cycle of sin and open ourselves up to the abundant blessings He has prepared for us. Let's embrace the grace that God offers and take the steps necessary to break free from the cycle of sin. By acknowledging our shortcomings, repenting sincerely, and aligning our lives with His will, we allow God to work powerfully within us, restoring and blessing us in ways we can't even imagine. Identifying the Traps of the Enemy The enemy is cunning and often disguises his traps as harmless, even justifiable actions. These traps can start small, like skipping your daily prayer time, holding onto a grudge, or entertaining a negative thought. At first, they may seem insignificant, but over time, these seemingly small sins can accumulate, snowballing into patterns that keep us from experiencing the fullness of God's blessings. It's vital to be vigilant and recognize these traps for what they are. The enemy's strategy is to derail your spiritual journey by enticing you with what seems harmless. The book of 1 Peter 5 verse 8 warns us, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. This is why we must remain spiritually awake, always on guard against the enemy's tactics. Let's look at some common traps that the enemy uses to ensnare us. 1. Pride Pride whispers to us that we are self-sufficient, that we don't need God's help. It blinds us to our need for His guidance and grace, leading us to rely on our own strength, which inevitably falters. 2. Unforgiveness Holding on to unforgiveness hardens our hearts. It can create bitterness that blocks us from receiving God's forgiveness and love, as we're told in Matthew 6 verse 15, but if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. 3. Lust and envy These can consume our thoughts, diverting our focus away from God and His goodness. Lust leads to sinful desires, while envy makes us resentful of others' blessings instead of being grateful for our own. 4. Greed Greed makes us blind to the needs of others driving us to accumulate more for ourselves at the expense of our spiritual health. It's a trap that leads to a life centered around materialism rather than God's kingdom. But remember, even in the face of these temptations, we are not without hope. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 reassures us, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful, He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. God always provides a way out, we just need to choose it. When you find yourself standing at a crossroads, remember that God has equipped you with everything you need to resist these traps. He has given you His Word as a lamp to guide your steps, the Holy Spirit to convict and empower you, and a community of believers to support you. Stay alert, stay grounded in the Word, and trust that God will always provide a way out when the enemy tries to ensnare you. Steps to Break the Cycle of Sin 1. Recognize and Confess The first step in breaking the cycle of sin is to recognize it. This requires honesty and humility. It's important to take time to reflect on your actions, thoughts, and behaviors. Ask yourself, where have I fallen short of God's standard? Once you identify these areas, bring them before God in confession. James 5 verse 16 tells us, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. 
the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Confession is the gateway to healing, breaking the power that sin holds over you. 2. Repent and turn away. Recognition is only the beginning. True repentance means turning away from sin and making a deliberate choice to change. It's not just about feeling sorry, it's about transforming your behavior. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 says, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. This turning away from sin is vital to aligning yourself with God's will and moving forward in His plan for your life. 3. Immerse yourself in God's Word. The Bible is your guidebook for life and your defense against the enemy. Hebrews 4 verse 12 tells us, For the Word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow, it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. By immersing yourself in Scripture, you arm yourself with the truth that dispels the lies of the enemy. Spend time daily in the Word, meditate on it, and let it renew your mind and transform your heart. This will give you the strength and wisdom to resist sin. 4. Pray without ceasing. Prayer is the lifeline that connects you directly to God. It's not just about asking for things, it's about aligning your heart with God's will and drawing strength from His presence. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 says, Pray without ceasing. This means developing a habit of constant communication with God throughout your day. Pray for guidance, for the strength to resist temptation, and for the wisdom to navigate your daily challenges. In prayer, you find the power to break the chains of sin. 5. Surround yourself with support. We are not meant to walk this journey alone. Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 10 reminds us, two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor, if either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can encourage you, hold you accountable, and pray with you. This community of faith is essential in helping you stay on track and grow in your walk with God. 6. Embrace God's grace. Finally, remember that God's grace is always available to you. Ephesians 2 verses 8-9 says, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Even when you stumble, His mercy is new every morning. Don't let guilt and shame keep you from seeking God's face. His grace is sufficient, and His love for you is unending. Embrace this grace and let it empower you to live a life that honors Him. Morning Prayer to Break the Cycle Let's take a moment to pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you, acknowledging our weaknesses and the areas in our lives where we've fallen short. We ask for your forgiveness and the strength to turn away from sin. Lord, we recognize the traps the enemy has set, and we pray for the discernment to avoid them. Help us to break every cycle of sin in our lives, to be renewed in your spirit, and to walk in the freedom that comes from you alone. Surround us with your protection guide us with your wisdom, and fill us with your peace. We thank you for the blessings you have prepared for us, and we ask that nothing would stand in the way of your divine will being done in our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Closing Encouragement My dear friends, breaking the cycle of sin is not easy, but it is possible with God's help. Don't let the enemy deceive you into thinking you're not worthy of God's blessings. You are a child of the Most High and He has great plans for your life. Walk in His truth, stand firm in His promises, and remember that His grace is always there to lift you up. If you've been blessed by this message, please share it with others who might need it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's continue this journey together, growing in faith and unlocking the fullness of God's blessings. Stay blessed, and have a wonderful day. As we come to the close of our time together, I want to remind you that every day is a new opportunity to choose God's path and unlock His blessings. No matter what challenges you face, know that God is with you, guiding your steps and filling your heart with His love. Remember, it's not just about the big moments, but the small, daily choices that draw you closer to Him.
Let gratitude be your compass, faith be your strength, and trust in God's plan be your guiding light. Every day is a fresh start. Embrace it with faith and joy. Thank you for joining me today. Take care, stay blessed, and may God bless you abundantly. Don't forget to share this message, subscribe for more inspiration, and keep walking in faith.